Yo, welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to make your Olympus AF1 take sharper photos. Let's go on with the video. Okay, so I know it's been a minute since I made my review on the Olympus AF1 and a lot of you guys have been commenting down below and DMing me about how I made my Olympus AF1 take sharper photos. So this is this video, sorry it took so long to get out. If you didn't know already, the Olympus AF1 was the first waterproof automatic 35 millimeter camera. So with that being said, this wasn't made to like take underwater and like shoot underwater photos. It was more of the sense of like, if you're wanting to snag a pic in the rain or if it got dunked or splashed on accident, it wouldn't hurt the camera. Doing this mod will make your camera not waterproof anymore. So if you want to keep it waterproof, don't do what we're about to do. But if you don't care, let's go on to it. So the main things you're gonna need for this is something small like a needle or like maybe like a small screwdriver to pry up what we're gonna do to remove the plastic piece and maybe some alcohol or something to help loosen up that glue that is holding down what we're about to pry up. And if you want, maybe just like a small amount of super glue so you can uh, glue back what we're about to pry up. I'm gonna switch up this angle just so you guys can see what I'm doing. So um, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so I switched up this shot so you guys can see how I did this. If you look at your camera, especially the lens, um, there's this plastic piece that covers the actual lens so uh, that your camera stays waterproof. Um, it's going to be actually here. I actually don't have the piece as I already took it out, so I'm sorry that you guys can't see that. But um, it sh if you haven't done it, it should be like right here, right above the lens. All right, so the first thing you want to do is lift up this cover piece. So this whole black piece is what's keeping the plastic piece inside your lens. So anything small, I'm using this, this screwdriver that has this, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I'm, I'm using this flathead right here to get it underneath it. So um, I noticed that right here in this spot and this spot right here, or in this spot right here, sorry, light, um, is the easiest to pry. So if you just go here, just stick it through. You might have to be a little forceful, but um, you should be able to see that this is prying up. So basically you just wanna pry that up a bunch, and pry it up until some of it comes up so you can actually get that plastic piece off. The second thing you wanna do is use a needle to run along the edge here to get that plastic piece off. So please be careful because once you lift it up, you can kind of just run the edge around here. See see here, like you can see that I already kind of like lifted this up. This might be easier to do if you have the plastic piece on already. Um, and if you just want to pry it open like that, as you can see, like it's starting to lift up and, and you can see what I mean by the glue as well. Like there's glue and stuff all in there. So the alcohol might help if you need it. But like I said, yeah, you just lift it up, use a needle or anything that can really reach in that crevice. And if you lift that up, you should be able to get that plastic piece off. I haven't done this in a while, but that's like the easiest part. So once you lift it up, you can remove that plastic lens. I didn't have to use a super glue to kind of glue this piece back on. Um, I just kind of like forced my hand like that, just kind of made sure it was okay. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's a fairly simple modification. Just, you just have to be careful not to break this if you don't want it broken and make sure that you don't actually scratch this, this lens part right here. So um, like that's just part of the camera. So just be careful. And then, yeah, just once you're done, just glue that jump back up and you're good. Again, I'm so sorry for getting this video out so late. I work a full-time job, so whenever I make these videos, I never think that they'd get this much traction. So again, everyone who's been asking, I'm so sorry, but I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions about how to do anything that I just showed you, or if you have any concerns, please feel free to comment down below or DM me at my film Instagram. But yeah, it's a relatively easy mod, but like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot. Um, please subscribe to the channel. It'll really help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.